Well, I think for me, it's about the variety it's given me in my life. Um, I never thought that was why I wanted to be a jewellery designer, but it's, it's, um, every day is different, which is fabulous. I get to work with things that are, you know, I think inspiring to people, you know, not, not just about my design, but just the things I work with. You know, when you talk about the materials and where they come from and maybe where you've been to get them, it, there's something magical about jewellery. Well, I've got these two collections running at the moment. One's called Dynamite and one's called Jitterbug. They're very different, but they're connected. I probably, if I've got to pick a favourite, I don't know, uh, I'll pick something from Jitterbug. I, I think probably because Jitterbug kind of makes you smile um, and, and this idea of making up your own bug sort of suits me and Stephen Webster, you know. I mean, the fact that it sits in the middle of a trilogy um, is also part of, of this sort of storytelling that, that I think we're probably is one of our strengths, at least. Wow, I suppose, you know, it's got to be a basic human thing like birth of my first child. That was pretty memorable. I mean, I'll, I can put it into the context of my work and I, I think that was knocking on Madonna's door and, and going in and meeting her for the first time. Apart from the Queen, she is probably about the most famous person on the planet and had asked me to come round show my jewellery, so that was quite memorable as well. Oh, I, I, life makes me happy. I mean, I'm a, I'm a quite a happy person. I, I try and get I try and get the, the, uh, the most out of everything and um, I like people, I like communicating with people. Um, my life can be very challenging but it also can be very satisfying so all those things I think in the end add up to something that makes me happy. It's going to be a combination of my travelling, uh, my the materials, that I work with because um, they're pretty inspiring in themselves. The rest is just like something that I read, something that I listen to, can be quite abstract. I find things like other people's work as artists inspiring. I find, you know, traveling inspiring. They're all inspirational, but directly linked to my work, it's, um, yeah, it's, well, it's all of those. I'm definitely a night person, even though I like the morning. But my, my night life means it's more of a challenge in the morning. I mean, I've, I've always really loved David Lynch films and it's so difficult to say what's your favourite movie, but I think the first time I saw Mulholland Drive, I thought, wow, that was amazing. And I, and I saw it again. I don't often see films twice. You know, some people say, oh, I watch that again and again, and I, I'm not really that person. I, like, I always like the next one. I like to be by the seaside. We're lucky that we have a house by the sea, and I, I find that already quite relaxing, just to be there. Maybe I can watch a bit of sport with my dad, who's 90. <laughs> you know, be on my bicycle, go out for a walk, be in the pub. Uh, very simple things. If they weren't simple, they'd be complicated and that wouldn't be relaxing, so. I think you've got to believe in yourself, you know, and because um, if you don't, it's a real struggle for other people to believe in you. And, and I don't know if that's about, that's more about your, you know, in, in life as your career. And, and I'm very lucky that my life and career are the same. My whole family are in it. I don't, you know, my brother works with me, my wife, now my daughter. Um, so it's, it's you, I can't, they're, they're, they're too connected to not be. So I, I think you've got you to gotta love what you do and, uh, and believe in yourself. Uh, right, toasted cheese sandwiches, David Bowie. 
Uh, the White Cliffs of Dover. Probably time and space, individuality, uh, be brave, belief, world, fragments, reassembly, uh, enjoyment for life, eccentricity, uh, family.